Um, yeah, we ready now. Do 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 and too holy for you to mispronounce their names. And see, I am one of those girls. And I always remember when someone would ask me, what does the name Shikandria mean? Whenever they asked me the meaning of my name, I would usually never have an answer. I remember looking for it once in a computer at a shopping mall kiosk. You know the ones where the meanings of names are saved, then engraved into mugs, keychains, and cute little keepsakes? Thinking all the while, the chance of me finding my big old name would be like the odds of winning the sweepstakes, you know, slim to none. I got tired of people mispronouncing it, so I just shortened that thing to time, but y'all, they still got it wrong. They got confused me with that lady who once sang that song, uh, tell me something good. So tell them something I feel I should, and I correct them. My name is pronounced Shukondriva. No silent letters, no accents. The drawl of a good old Louisiana accent. It just sounds so much sweeter that way. I remember that once was a day when I wished my mother would have stuck to something, you know, simple and pretty and majestic like Tiffany or maybe even Alexis, but my fate was sealed by signatures on my birth certificate granting me the right to forever bear the shame of having been given a ghetto ass name. So this here poem is for all the little black girls with big names. For the shy. The Shahs and the Ishas, the Honors and the Equals, who were told never to write their names on applications. Because y'all know we live in a nation where your name, your name can tell someone your race or even your social status. And some people think only dumb ghetto folk overuse the alphabet. They chalk it up to illiteracy, never creativity, or maybe even history. And I wonder if those who assume that it was not to think that maybe transatlantic submerged native tongues that re emerged in the form of ghetto monikers like my little. Cousin. I have a little cousin whose name is Tanisha. Sounds a lot like Tanache, a name from the Shona tribe, meaning God is with us. Because when her mother died, God was all she had. Or maybe like my friend Lakeisha, whose name sounds a lot like the Bantu name Wakisa, meaning born during the harvest. Now she's an attorney reaping from sowing seeds of work in the hardest so Maybe like me, my mama knew this little girl right here was gonna be a fighter. So she named me Shakandria, which sounds a lot like Shaka, the great Zulu warrior. Cause this is a poem, this poem is for every daughter who ever became a professional, only to shorten her name to a letter and a period. Just so phone calls can be returned or higher pay earned. And we all know don't nobody want an Isha or an equal to operate on them. But you see, a book, a book can't be judged by its cover nor its title, and the story beneath your name can't be contained beneath the title. So, sisters, let them rise and take the right places on your applications and business cards, desk blackets and uniforms, till one day ghetto ass names become the norm. But right now, we special to see you. And there ain't another girl in the world with a name like you on me, so go forth and rep proudly for all the ghetto name girls. If someone happens to mispronounce your name, make sure you give your neck a swirl, look them right in the eye, and correct them. Tell them my name is pronounced Shakandria. That's Shakandria. Say it right, or don't say it at all.